Are you going through a spiritual awakening? In this video, Archangel Michael lists five signs of a spiritual awakening. These can happen to almost anyone, and if you're one of these people, amazing changes are in store for you. Hi, my name's Stefan. I'm a channel of angels and divine beings. I've been channeling now for around six years, and the angels have blessed me and made my life happier. I also offer channeled readings and healings from the archangels. Now is the perfect time to hear what the archangels have to say to you. If you're interested, please visit my website, theangelicschool.com. So, this is a channeled message from Archangel Michael. Let's hear from Michael. Hello, this is Archangel Michael. Okay, so what I want to say is that spiritual awakenings happen to many, many different people. And they don't always happen to people who choose them. They sometimes happen to people who aren't even aware of it. Sometimes people experience a tremendous awakening. And it happens without them even knowing why it happened. It can happen without you even being aware of it. So, what I say is that spiritual awakenings are many, many different things. There are many different types of spiritual awakenings. So if you want to know what are the five signs that I'm experiencing a spiritual awakening, I will tell you what they are here. Okay, so the very first sign you're experiencing a spiritual awakening is that you feel lighter. You feel somehow more open. Your mind just feels more spacious. You're not as restricted as you once were. It's a sign that your mind is starting to expand. It's starting to breathe and open. That's the first sign that you're experiencing a spiritual awakening. And this can happen if you're a meditator. This can happen because you're doing a lot of spiritual practice. Or it can happen because something in your mind just completely opened up. Something in your mind just purified all of a sudden. And you may not have even known it happened. It just happened to you out of the blue. That's one of the first signs of a spiritual awakening. The second sign of a spiritual awakening is that your compassion, your love, your heart starts to open. Your compassion and love get stronger and you start to experience a sense of joy, a sense of freedom, a sense of spaciousness because your compassion and your love are intertwined with your consciousness. It's not like you can separate the heart from the mind. The mind and the heart are in fact the same thing. So as your compassion and your love get stronger, your mind starts to purify, your mind starts to change. And so you can experience a spiritual awakening through immense love, immense opening, immense surrender. And surrender is when you start to let go of the egoistic thinking. You start to let go of the ego and you go into something more spacious. That's the second sign of a spiritual awakening. The third sign of a spiritual awakening is that your life suddenly gets more challenging. Your hardship gets stronger. Your suffering increases. This is a little known sign of spiritual awakening. Sometimes when a spiritual awakening occurs, your life gets even harder. This is because you're going through the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul is a time when you learn about the difficulties of life. You learn about the dark side of life and the hardships of life. And because you know about the hardships of life, you're more prepared to experience the light, the blessings, the divinity. In fact, the two things cannot be separated, the light and the dark. The light and the dark are interrelated. So you can't have one without the other. So if you're someone who suddenly has all kinds of difficulties coming up and your catastrophes are increasing and you feel like things are going really badly for you, this could mean that you're going through a spiritual awakening. And in fact, it's a precious opportunity to transcend ego. It's a precious opportunity to free yourself from the grip of egoistic thinking. So don't reject it, use it, surrender to it, and you will move through it. And you'll go into a space of peace and joy. Sooner or later, you'll come out the other side. So that's the third sign of a spiritual awakening. The fourth sign of a spiritual awakening is relaxing deeply. You start to relax more deeply than you've ever relaxed. And you start to really relax into all kinds of experiences without conceptualizing about them, without overthinking. You just find your mind is really calm and really bliss, blessed, blissful. You start to experience more bliss. That is the sign of a spiritual awakening. And the fifth and final sign of a spiritual awakening is you open to a divine intervention. A divine intervention happens. For example, it could be that you've been praying for something. It could be that you've been choosing something. It could be that you've been intending something. And suddenly, like 
a flash of light from the sky. Something happens to you that you never thought would happen and you experience blessings, true, deep, powerful blessings. This is spiritual awakening and it happens to only a few people. It doesn't happen to everybody. But if you are one of those who is experiencing a divine intervention, you're guaranteed to ascend. You're guaranteed to overcome ego. You're guaranteed to be free from the suffering of egoistic thinking. So in some sense, those who experience breakthroughs, those who experience sudden insights and sudden glimpses of awakened mind, those people are being blessed. And they're being blessed because they've opened to love. They've opened to compassion and they've transcended the negativity that most people experience. So that is the final sign of a spiritual awakening. Okay, so if you're one of these people who is having one of these five signs, then you should start to pray daily. You should start to surrender to the process, surrender and give in to the process. Don't try and choose your way out. Don't try and intend your way out. Let it happen naturally. Surrender to the flow of the changes. Surrender to the flow of the challenges. And as you come out the other side, you will become a different person. You will let go of the past and you'll move into a space of real joy, true joy. That is the truth about spiritual awakening. It can happen to anyone. You don't even have to be someone who's deeply spiritual. You can be someone who's actually more materialistic. But if you are a materialistic person and suddenly a spiritual awakening happens, it's very likely that you'll start to choose to focus more on divine, spiritual, transcendental ideas, transcendental truths. You'll start to focus more on these things and less on money and fame and success and all those things. So trust me, everything's going to work out fine. I'm the Archangel Michael and we will see you in the near future. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that message. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. If you're interested in a channeled reading or healing from an Archangel, or you're interested in, in a manifestation course created by Archangel Michael and Haniel, please visit my website, theangelicschool.com. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.